Good afternoon, guys. All right, we're all sparkly. What if I told you TRT was going to reverse all of your negative symptoms? It was going to make you a sexual Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was going to give you gym muscles without any effort at all. Just normalizing your male androgen levels to optimize physiology. Boom, job done. There's nothing left to do. It would sound too good to be true. And it is too good to be true. So what is it all about? It's simply about normalizing physiology to allow you to chase the reward, which is what you want to be a sexual Tyrannosaurus Rex. You want your gym muscles, but that takes skill, effort, perseverance, and hopefully, <laughs> oh, I don't know, really? Okay, so what are we trying to do here? We are really trying to give you a sense of perspective, a sense of realism, because it's lost in social media. There is a disturbing level of narcissism. There is a disturbing level of toxicity that abounds. What you're going to get from the Men's Health Clinic is consistency. Because what's it all about? Consistency, stability, balance. These are our favourite words. All day, every day. Because it's the truth. I despise social media and I hate having to do this. Actually, it's quite cathartic because some of you guys think I'm reading from a script. Oh, some of you guys think I put any effort into this at all. I don't. I promise you. This is just me having just walked Maddie. It's normally me before the gym, after the gym, before clinic, after clinic. These are just musings because I'm sick to death of the nonsense. Red pill, blue pill, you decide. You take the path of least resistance, it's entirely up to you. You will eventually land on our doorstep because if it sounds too good to be true, it's too good to be true. How do I feel? I feel optimized. Ah, I do, I feel pretty damn good. Why? My hormone levels are spot on. They have been titrated up to a level that does not cause negative side effects. Well, you know the reference range. Yeah, the reference range is wrong. Okay, but how do you know if your levels are too high? You have negative consequences. What are those negative consequences? Felix has just done a video about this. A rise in hematocrit is probably the most common one. Now, it's not to say that normalizing your melandrin levels will not increase your HCT to a healthy level. Now, this is true because obviously if you've got low testosterone and testosterone is involved in red blood cell production, normalizing your levels will increase your hematocrit. But if this rises to a dangerous level, and yes, there can be such a thing as a dangerous level of hematocrit, then that's problematic. So we don't want that. We don't want you to have a God complex. Because we want you to be considered. You have your three major male androgens. Testosterone, drive and determination, motivation. DHT, aggression, libido. Estrogen, empathy and insight. You want the right balance of all of those three hormones. You want to have a considered response to the situation that's placed before you. You don't want to be 
overly aggressive. You don't want to be like the three D's. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, God love you. God love you. We all need a comedy bad guy. <laughs> and you're certainly that. Um, yeah. So testosterone should make you cool, calm and considered. Should it? Well, not if your personality is not that. But it should make you a little bit more of a sensible boy. Now, we've all been plonkers. Probably numerous times. And I believe that when you are a teenager, not only is it lack of experience and life experience, which does matter now, it is the fact that your high testosterone causes high dopamine, which obviously should be good. But if life is about the subjective experience of subtle changes in physiology, and you've got high testosterone, which you've, which you've already just said, gives you drive, determination, motivation, brrr, all of these things and high dopamine, which is the pleasure chemical, to elicit a response, as in to this, you're going to have to do something quite dramatic, which is why I believe that we engage in risky behaviours. Not only because the model's a joke, but also because our hormones are telling us to do stupid things. Back in the day, yeah, you guessed it, hunter-gatherer, you wouldn't be exposed to these bad choices. You'd be surviving. And because we don't need to survive, we're still left with these rampant hormones surging around our bodies. And we make bad decisions. So when you go on TRT and you've had these negative symptoms that you're desperately trying to reverse, don't choose high over optimal. Because outside of the physiological impact that high testosterone can have, the psychological impact is ultimately negative. Because what's it all about? You guessed it balance and stability and when I wake up in the morning I wake up motivated I wake up with my normal testosterone I wake up with my normal cortisol and what do I do I go earn my reward nothing more nothing less